hopefully this isn't hard to hear. Um, I figured we'd make a, a small video here on uh, non-VVT cars, uh, some of the torque management, kind of explaining a few things. Uh, this is similar for most Hemis in general. So what we have here, runner driver demand, and we have two tables here, pedal expected and power request. These should always be inverse of each other. Okay. And what you're seeing is they definitely are not. So this is a pretty simple thing. You want to copy this. You go to here, you go to columns, edit, paste those labels in. Okay, now these labels match this. Okay, now you're gonna go to column here, edit, copy, and then you're gonna paste here. Okay, now these are the inverse of each other. This is how it should always be. They should always be inverse of each other. Now you can play with this to change the way pedal feels, things like that, uh, anything you want. But this is essentially what you're looking for here. Um, I'm not really sure why it's kind of Let's reverse this. As you notice that some of these are a little bit different. Let's reverse this. Okay. These are completely inverse of each other right now. Okay, now what makes things a little bit more difficult, and this is something you're gonna have to do on your own, this NV ratio has to do is a is a calculation based on engine RPM and vehicle speed. So if you think about it, RPM could be high, speed could be low. Speed could be high, RPM could be low. Play with that at your own risk. Just make sure anytime you, you mess with any of it, uh, they are 100% inverse of each other. Okay? Um, I typically like to just do it like this. You know, this is all we need. Uh, I do believe, though, if we go look... Leave the throttle body. I believe the throttle is 3.8 on these for wide open throttle. Yeah, C3.745. So technically, um, these should be 3.745. Or in this case, yeah, we'll just do that. 3.745. Column edit let's make sure this matches okay now this will make the pedal match the power 100% pedal 100% pop throttle you can play with this um, and make changes to that you can give you a little bit more power down low a little less pedal down low uh, and you can mess with all of that uh, it comes in really handy when you have superchargers to help so you're not blowing the tires off. Okay, the throttle, throttle wide open throttle, 3.745. Pedal wide open throttle, 2.745. Um, I typically set these at 2.7 myself for pedal wide open throttle. Um, I'd have to look at the throttle body voltage to fully get the um, let's see max demanded throttle throttle voltage I do believe the pedal and the throttle body match each other but you can't take my word for that uh, that's something I'll have to double check and you can mess around with the delay and whatnot on your own um, a lot of this stuff you don't really need to mess with okay Someday I'll do a video here on this stall management. Okay, you can leave basically all of this stuff exactly how it is. Um, you may need to do some garage shift torque reduction. Uh, this is when you go to shift and uh, uh, you go to shift it from parking to drive and the car jerks forward. You can use this to reduce torque there. 
You'll have to play with that to find out which direction goes which way. Um, these I would leave alone for now as well, uh, but these are maxes and minimums. So I actually, on a vehicle I did recently, uh, I went through and I added five foot pounds to all the maxes and allowed it to have a little bit more adaptation. Uh, the Gen 3 vehicles don't have a lot of information here to screw with for your torque management. So a lot of this stuff you're going to end up just pretty much leaving alone, to be completely honest. Um, basically, when you have um, a, uh, um, a vehicle that's having problems, that's when you come here. Uh, your trans torque management, okay? So you can go through maximum engine torque. Obviously, we, we want to max engine torque this table should just be maxed out um, here is your trans maximum allowable torque per gear again I max this out uh, this is something you'll do at your own oh, damn I think I think I screwed that up anyway you'll do these uh, at your own risk there and here okay I think that 3687 leave it there Okay, uh, when you, where you need to pay, so you can put output limits, you can raise these two. A lot of these I leave alone. We don't want to have snapping tail shafts or anything like that. You need torque reduction on gear shifts. That is how you shift fast without damaging your transmission. This is the upshift torque reduction for the one two. Based on this, this is how much torque it pulls. Okay, do yourself a favor. Only take away five to ten percent at a time. Now, to take away five percent, you'll do 0.95. There, you just took away five percent. Go around, drive it, see how it feels. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. Same thing with the downshifting, 100% the same. Um, on the Gen 3 Hemis, there isn't really much more to say than what I just showed you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up and we'll figure something out. Oh no, the fuck? Oh yeah, ha! Okay, I swore at the end of the video, sorry.